a Northeast D.C. woman reunited with her dog. This after it was taken. It was stolen on Saturday. David Kaplan is live at D.C. Police and Special Operations Division in Northeast. So, David, how did this happen? How was she able to get the dog back? Yeah, Angie, Tiffany Worthy continually posted updates on her Instagram page trying desperately to be reunited with her French bulldog, Hendrix. Then this morning, she says she woke up to a direct message from a woman who said, I have your dog. She was reunited. With my boyfriend or my son stole your dog. That's probably what, the, what, 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 what that woman didn't say. Yeah. From a woman who said, I have your dog. She was reunited with Hendrix later. Here's her excitement and joy. Really happy. <laughs> Thankful. All right, so here is the surveillance video oh, you shared around one, right the DMV up. just to bring you up to mm -hmm. speed on what happened here. Worthy and Hendrix had just gotten home from a walk. A man gets out of the car, walks up her stairs, takes the dog, drives away. The search continued, which brings us... Threatens to kill her. Takes the dog and drives away. They are fixed. Happened here. Worthy and Hendrix had just gotten home from a walk. A man gets out of the car, walks up her stairs, takes the dog, drives away. The search continued, which brings us to that Instagram message today. Worthy says the woman who had Hendrix told her she bought the dog right off the street from someone. Now, Worthy, contact. I could, I could possibly believe that, but not really. I don't really believe that, but whatever. And Hendrix told her she bought the dog right off the street from someone. Now, Worthy contacted police as soon as she got that message on Instagram. You're right, The uh, actual exchange of the dog. You believe that? Yeah, you're right. Uh, I think she, um, her boyfriend or um, somebody that she knew, and she's going to get the reward money. Mm, yeah, yeah, it's a reward. That's true. She's cute. Uh, Twenty five hundred. Hey, where's her Instagram? Her? I don't know. I know she's um, she's um, she looked like she got a little bit of East African in her, though, don't she? It's actually not a bad idea. Ransom the dog. People love yeah, her. Yeah, sorry. Right. Dog Man. happened. Somebody playing some music in the background. I'm going to get some music playing. Elevated music or some shit. The police from the woman who sent the Instagram message, but Worthy's just thankful to have Hendrix back. She saw the, um, that he was missing and, you know, she wanted um, him to be returned to me, and but she wanted to, you know, to get her money back. <laughs> yeah. So she got the she, I give you the dog back. When you, yeah. If you give me the money I paid for, how much you paid well, for? Well, I tell you, <laughs> so that was a reference to something that Worthy told us that essentially the order of operations here was that she got the Instagram message, contacted police. Police sort of indicated they facilitated an operation for her to get money uh, to get the dog back. Uh, she says she exchanged some money. Police did not want to dive too deeply into that operation or many of the specifics here. No arrests at this time, but police have indicated they are going to continue to work this case. We just wrapped up a news conference with them moments ago. We'll have much more on all of this starting at 5 o'clock. Uh Shit. Wrapped up in a small blanket, a shy and shaking French bulldog named Hendrix is back in the loving arms of his owner, Tiffany Worthy. Relieved, um, thankful, um, you know, I'm just happy that he's back. You know where that's at? That's, you, know this, you know where this is at, right? Those are... uh, oh, yeah, that's by that Costco. Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 I know. Yeah, happy that yeah. he's back. Worthy, smiling from ear to ear, believes she's fortunate to have her sidekick back with her after two days of worry and uncertainty. It's terrifying, you know, you should be able to have a pet, you know, they're your, they're family members. On Saturday, surveillance video shows Worthy walking up to her northeast home oh, wow. when two cars pull up and a person <laughs> hops out. The thief runs up the steps 
And Worthy says he threatened to Stabbing kill her if she didn't hand over her puppy. Really I'm pretty is. much, I felt paralyzed. <laughs> You know, um, yeah, she's definitely. It was just trying to comply, you know, with what he was she's asking, cheap. you know, just out of, you know, concern for my safety. She contacted police, hired a private investigator, and immediately began posting this flyer on social media. Worthy says Hendrix was gifted to her in September after her previous dog, Memphis, died in August during the flash flooding at District Dogs on Rhode Island Avenue. He's my baby, you know, um, part of the family. So he's my support. On Monday, Worthy says a woman reached out to her on Instagram telling her that she had Hendrix. She showed me a video of Hendrix and she was asking for money. She said that she didn't want the police involved and, um, you know, if you could come get the dog and and just drop off the money or cash out me the money. Worthy says she contacted police because the woman asked for $900 to get her dog back. Worthy says police used the information to track down Hendrix safely and return him today. He's going to be with me for sure. I'm all cuddled up um, in my arms. A rewarding end to what is now an unfortunate trend in and around the district. In Northeast, Dominique Moody, News 4. Yeah, she, she eats the afternoon. She got a little East afternoon. I, don't, I should, knew she had saw some, some East. <laughs> I'm <laughs> If, if 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 that dog is stolen right. and the police are involved and they know where the dog is, <clears throat> is this woman obligated to give that lady nine hundred dollars? They they're very like they didn't tell us that I couldn't figure it out. They said they used some kind of I don't know. Did they use the reward money to give give her nine hundred? They said they used her. Um, I, I think they used like her social media, like they retracted, they, they backtracked where, where she um. Hit her up from mm, yeah that's i think that that woman who had the dog was probably in some way linked to the guy who stole it yeah, and i don't think that, of course she is of course she is because she said don't let the cops get involved because if you didn't give a shit and you just bought the dog you'd be like you probably call the cops yourself like well somebody sold me the dog <laughs> and it's missing but since you're saying do not get the cops involved. That means you were involved with the dog with a person. You know the person that was involved with the dog. Not necessarily, yeah, but, but, but most likely. Yeah, yeah, most likely. I, yeah. I, I, honestly, I don't think the cops are going to fall for that. They're going to follow up and question her and question her until she has some sort of a um, some discrepancy in her description of You're what happened. You're assuming that give her shit. Yeah, this is just a dog. It's a high profile. It's a robbery, though. This this isn't just about the dog. Yeah, it's about it's the true. robbery. Yeah, it's still a robbery. They have a robbery unit in DC. Um, in the DC Metropolitan Police Department. Four. And this story is just the latest case in the dog theft in the district. Earlier this month, three French bulldogs were stolen at gunpoint on East Capitol Street. Prior to that, owners had their dogs taken in Fort Totten and North.